Hey y'all, it's Katie. Welcome back to another Animal Crossing New Horizons Island Tour. Today's tour I am extra excited for because we are at Disneyland, <laughs> at least the Animal Crossing version of Disneyland that is. And this is by my friend Veronica. I have seen some pictures and it looks so accurate and so much fun. If you guys enjoy Animal Crossing tours like this one and being inspired by amazing creators just like Veronica, make sure to subscribe to my channel as I do put out new videos every single Wednesday and Friday. With that said, let's take a look at Disneyland's map. Oh, it is perfectly organized, just exactly how I imagined it to be. Also, here is the dream address right on the screen, but that is also going to be in the description box below, along with the creator Veronica's Instagram account, all that good stuff. And she has been generous enough to include all of the custom codes that are used on this island on her Instagram highlights. So if you are curious about any of the pathing, she has been kind enough to put all of the resources in one spot, so that way you can go and access them for yourself. Now for villagers, this might be the cutest lineup I've ever seen, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> we have Maple, we have my favorite villager of all time, the love of my life, Bo. Then we have Eric, Molly, Bones, Fauna, Sherb, Marshall, Judy, and Zell. All right, you guys, I am way too excited to begin this tour. Also loving the flag. I'm also loving how this whole island is autonomous. It's the fall theme in which, you know, Disneyland decorates for Halloween and all that fun stuff. So we'll get to see that version of it. And to clarify, this is Disneyland in California, not Disney World, which is located in Orlando, Florida. So we will be seeing the rides and different corresponding areas for that particular park. And what a fun entrance. Of course, we have some presents, so let's go ahead and pick these up. Also, the custom codes, even just on the monitors, are incredible. So this is where you check in, you have your ticket, you scan it away. Okay, let's see. It looks like these might be outfits. Okay, so we have a mage outfit. I love how they're all organized by color, too. Like, all the orange is the... Oh, a bear cap? Oh, we're wearing that one. <laughs> we're definitely wearing the bear cap. <laughs> and then a bone costume. Oh, for Halloween, how perfect. Oh, that is so fun. Okay, we're gonna wear the mage's dress and the bear cap. Yep, this is a look, right? I love it. So here is the entrance to Disneyland, perfectly complete with this brick pathing oh it's so well made and then a, oh sorry I did not mean to turn off your computer sir or ma'am oh and then look at the Mickey Mouse in the roses oh it's just so perfect here I'll open the camera so you guys can get a better look wow Wow, I saw the pathing beneath resident services on the map whenever we were taking a peek a second ago, but seeing it complete with the roses is just so good and so, so well done. And here we are at resident services, way too perfect. Might I just add, how pleasing is this to just make a straight line and get to your airport? What a map. I mean, it's just so perfect the way it's laid out. So I guess let's go to the left first. I know we have so much to explore. <gasps> Bo! Oh my goodness. Of course my favorite is here ready to greet me. You wanna go on uh, Splash Mountain or something? And I love this with the wheelchairs and I like how they're decorated as well. I do wish in the game, although I am not a wheelchair user myself, I wish that was something that you could make a part of your character because that is a, a big part of a lot of people's lives and it'd be nice to see that representation, you know, being used in your actual character. But still very cool they have it in the game. Oh, so down here. Oh, is this the uh, river? The Jungle Cruise, that's what I'm thinking of, Jungle Cruise. <gasps> yes, because look, you have the paper tigers up there as well as the zebra. Oh, how fun. So this is the Jungle Cruise. Did anyone watch the Jungle Cruise movie? 
that came out relatively recently? If so, let me know. Oh my god, this is Dole Whip. That's what this is, isn't it? Oh, how funny. If you guys have not been to Disneyland before, or if you're unfamiliar, they do have Dole Whip. It's kind of a signature uh, a treat, I guess we could call it, of theirs. It's like a pineapple sort of flavored ice cream soft serve situation. <laughs> and then here is the, okay, so this is the campsite, but this is definitely decorated to be the enchanted tiki room. So perfect. Now I must say, I'm a huge Disneyland fan. Uh, also Disney World fan, love Disney World. I lived in Florida for like five or six years whenever I was little and my family used to go all the time. And then I was fortunate enough when I moved to Los Angeles to have a roommate who worked at Disneyland. So I went for free quite a lot. Uh, I was very spoiled, very, very spoiled with those experiences. And now a lot of my friends work for Disneyland corporate, so I still get to go for free. Anyway, I love Disneyland. It's so much fun. Oh, oh my gosh, this is the Mark Twain riverboat. Oh, this is so well done. What is that item? Is that the fireplace with the chimney on it? Oh, that's so good. It looks like smokestacks. Veronica, my friend, you have outdone yourself. This is amazing. I love this area of Disneyland because it's usually where Mary Poppins shows up and I love Mary Poppins. <laughs> Let me know in the comments below who your favorite Disney character is. It could be anyone. It could be a princess. It could be an animated character. It could even be someone, I guess, you know, from the Marvel universe now. Oh my gosh, are those the beignets? like the Mickey Mouse shaped beignets. It kind of looks like it. It has to be, right? Because they do have close to the Mark Twain Riverboat, a little uh, New Orleans type of cafe. Oh, this is so, so well executed and well done. You even have a little host here. Oh, wow. Absolutely amazing. Okay, so I guess we will go back around this way through the Jungle Cruise. This is so much fun. And the little Dole Whip station and the Tiki Room. So we've already seen several exhibits, I guess you would call them, rides, attractions. Attractions is the word I'm looking for. And then Bo again. Hello, hello. And then what is this right here? I guess this could be any kind of like gift shop situation. So fun. But where should we go? This way? Okay. I'm going to follow your lead. Oh, well, here is the museum, but this is definitely decorated to be the haunted mansion. Oh, how fun. The haunted mansion is such a fun ride, but during Halloween particularly, it's so much fun. And as you wait in line, I mean, imagine, you know, a, a way more people here, of course, in line waiting. But as you're waiting in line, you get to see this fun graveyard and they even have, you know, little stones for the pets. Kind of morbid, but also very fun. And then you go into the haunted mansion. What a perfect way to decorate the museum. Oh my gosh, it's so good with all of the statues and the headstones. I love, love, love the Haunted Mansion. Or I guess in this case, we can call it the Haunted Museum. Hi, Bo, are you following me? I'm not mad about it. You can, you can tag along. And then I did see these logs right here. Oh, and some gold and some skeletons. Well. I think, I think we know what this is, right? This has to be the Pirates of the Caribbean ride, right? Oh, oh, and there's an incline. We can actually experience the ride. The detail. So if you've been on this ride before, you will know 
exactly what this scene is right here. There is a dog barking at this skeleton who, um, an actual ride. It's a dog um, that is holding keys to the jail cell and the people that are trapped in the jail cell are of course trying to bribe the dog to give them the keys. This is so fun. So we can actually ride the ride. So here we go. All right, so we're in the log. Oh my gosh. And then the cannons are shooting everywhere. Oh my gosh, that's so much fun. Also at Disneyland, I don't think this is in Disney World, but if you are a frequent visitor of Disney World and I'm incorrect, let me know. But at Disneyland, you can actually have lunch or dinner kind of inside of the ride. It's at this one restaurant. I, I don't remember the name of it, but I have been one time and it was so cool. That's amazing. I, I love that. How fun. Absolutely love. Pirates of the Caribbean. Absolutely amazing. And the Haunted Mansion. This layout too is just so much fun. I feel like I am there. Well, I guess, should we go back this way? You know what, I'm gonna follow this pathing because I do see that we can go behind resident services and I wanna see what that's all about. <gasps> oh my goodness. This is definitely Main Street because a parade is happening and we have the villains right here. Oh, I'm not gonna get all of them right, but I'm gonna try. We have the Queen of Hearts in the back right and then we have Cruella in the bottom left, Ursula and then and then Maleficent, maybe? Who am I, who's, who's the front right one? Is that Maleficent or is that the evil queen? I should know, but I don't. That's the evil queen, right? Anyway, y'all will let me know in the comments. <laughs> but we're in a parade, oh my goodness. And because it's around Halloween, we have these incredible villainous costumes. Oh my gosh, these, Outfits, oh, I was Cruella once for Halloween and it was one of my favorite costumes I've done. This is so fun and here is Goofy. Oh my gosh, we need some popcorn and I need popcorn for the parade. Or not Goofy, this is Mickey and Minnie. What am I talking about? Goofy, hello. Obviously that's Mickey and Minnie. And then Donald and there's Goofy. This is incredible. Between the houses and the simple panels and this whole build, it really, really encapsulates that feeling of being on Disneyland's Main Street. Oh, this is so cool. And the Halloween vibe is just an extra touch of being so unique. I, I love that. And then up here, oh, does this take us to the castle? It does. Oh my goodness, hello. And we have our friend. When you wish upon a star. Oh, I, you know what? I get emotional during the fireworks at Disneyland, I really do. And then here is the castle. Now, a lot of the parks, at least to my understanding, the castles are for the different princesses, right? So the one in Orlando is the big one for Cinderella. It's giant. This one's not as big, the one in Disneyland. It's for Sleeping Beauty, and it's still really pretty. But the one in, if you've been to the one in Orlando, it is just like so cool. <gasps> oh wait, how do I get over there? Oh, how do I get over there? I think I have to go to the other side of the houses, but I see the mad tea party and the teacups. And that is a ride that I am here for. I know a lot of people don't like it, but I'm gonna make a beeline and go that way. <laughs> Man, Main Street is so cool though. And then we got to see the castle. Oh my gosh, look at Maple. What an absolute doll. This is so, I am, I wish I, okay, here's the thing. I don't usually, Actually, I never have a face cam on during island tours specifically. I do show my face in other videos, but the reason I don't is because I wanna showcase as much of the island as possible, and I don't want my big old head to like block anything. 
But at the same time, I wish you guys could see my face right now because I'm just in awe. <gasps> like right now. This is um Big Thunder Mountain Railroad. Oh, how fun. So this is one of the roller coasters. Oh yeah, we're gonna have to get up there. So we'll go that way in a second. Oh, is this what I think it is? It is, okay. So, next to Disneyland, there is a separate park called California Adventure. And this is a reference to that because this is the Pixar Pier, is what they call it. And they have a really, really cool Ferris wheel. They have something called the World of Color Show that Neil Patrick Harris narrates. <laughs> but it's this beautiful fountain and light water show and it's stunning. That has to be what this is referencing. It's so beautiful. Wow, I'm having so much fun. So as we make our way up to Big Thunder Mountain Railroad, I have a friend. Well, okay. Well, yes, I do have a friend. <laughs> I should have kept going. She um, she told me that it's cursed. Like apparently a lot of Disneyland is very haunted and, and there's like a lot happening. But this ride particularly, she had a really wild experience on. Um, and I don't have her permission per se to actually tell the story, but she had a very crazy paranormal experience on this ride so if you know anything about that or if you've had any creepy spooky scary experiences at any of the Disney parks let me know I'm all ears yes 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 make me dizzy this is beautifully decorated too wow I mean how perfect that this item actually exists in the game as well but it's just, this is so well designed too. Oh, fun. That would be a fun thing to do for a themed party. A mad tea party. I think that'd be good. Oh, what's back here? Can we go back here? I don't know if we... Yeah, I don't think we can. Oh, wait, that's... This is... This is Splash Mountain, for sure, with the logs as well. So the logs are a, a big part of Splash Mountain, but then um, they were also used in the in the Pirates of the Caribbean ride. Oh, this is so fun! I love being this person right here, you know, and I'm just cheering for people as they get soaking wet from Splash Mountain. So much fun. So much fun. Okay, what other rides? We haven't even seen the right hand side at all and we've already seen so many. Wait, I just realized, hold on. I did not go inside the castle. Um, I don't, I don't know if it's decorated, but we're gonna look. And this is also just a nice excuse to see Main Street again because holy cow. This might be my favorite part so far. <laughs> it's just so perfect. <laughs> yeah, what is wrong with me? I didn't even go inside. But we will fix that right now. <gasps> what? Oh, how hilarious. Oh, okay, let me just get the camera out. I'm not gonna do my normal pan situation just because this is like way too good. But just perfectly in keeping with the Halloween theme, we have all of the princesses <laughs> locked away. Locked away by the evil characters. Oh, that's so good. That's so funny. I'm so glad that we walked in here. Well, I'm curious. I don't know if the other rooms are decorated, but let's take a look. <gasps> and here is, well, obviously this is a nod to Ariel, but we have Ursula right here. 
Okay, good. So I did get Ursula correctly as far as the dress. This is an amazing room. Holy cow, how creative. I wonder if that means the other rooms are also going to be princess themed. So I know I already asked about your favorite Disney character, but do you have a favorite Disney princess as well? Whenever I was little, I used to love Belle um, just because I have brown hair and brown eyes. And I was like, oh, that's, you know, <laughs> my that's my princess. <gasps> oh, stop. So this is the evil queen, but not the one I saw though. That's someone different. Wow, and then you have the seven dwarves and the apple. Oh my gosh, so th in this one, she's dead dead. Cin uh, not Cinderella, oh my goodness. Snow White is in that casket. So this is pre-Prince Kiss, I guess we're all assuming. Wow, and you even have the mirror on the wall. Okay, I am just giddy at this point. This is so much fun. But yeah, I like Belle. Um, I love Jasmine. I think my, f okay, I guess if I were an actual Disney character, it would be Meg from Hercules, like hands down. Easy, easy. <gasps> what? All of these are so perfect. Also, this floor, I totally forgot that it existed, but how perfect is this? You even have the little bed, you have the spinning wheel. Wow. Wow. So that's Maleficent, but you know, as the dragon. <laughs> so this is obviously like Sleeping Beauty's story happening here. Holy cow. This is so crazy. Okay, so those are the three downstairs, but we still have an upstairs and a basement. And I cannot believe I didn't walk in here earlier. I just totally forgot that it was a house. I just saw a castle, but I'm so glad we are exploring it because this is amazing. <gasps> what? Everything, everything. I thought this would be like fully princess, but it's not. So much fun. I wonder what, I'm gonna guess. In the basement, I think we're gonna get like a curveball and see maybe, mm, maybe Toy Story themed? No, it's gotta be, it's probably classic, huh? Cause all of these other rooms have been classic Disney. So, because that was Gaston, right? Correct me if I'm wrong, but I'm pretty sure that was Gaston in the bar. What is the basement gonna be? It'll be another classic, it has to. <gasps> oh, how beautiful, it's Rapunzel. With the lanterns? That's right, right? Oh, how stunning, I'm not gonna pan on this one. Oh, yep, because she has the frying pan. Yeah, it is, it's totally Rapunzel. Oh, how beautiful. That movie is a great one. I know it came out later than a lot of like original, original movies back in the 90s and before then, but what a great movie. I can't get over this though. How funny. <laughs> so let me know who is the, the one in the back left? Which evil character is that? Cause it's not the evil queen. Who else would it be? Is it the, um, is it Cinderella's evil stepmother maybe? Hi, friend. Oh my gosh, the the um, bow on her head almost looks like it could be Mickey ears. All right, now let's check out the right side. We have not even explored the right side of this island. We still have so much to see. I do love this main street though. It's giving me so much life. Also, what a great representation, regardless if you do like a Disney themed island or anything of just how nice it is to have this kind of organization. It truly makes me so happy. So I guess we'll check out the front first. So here is Nook's Cranny. Definitely 
gift shop central right here, which is just so perfect. <gasps> Sahara decor, it's so fun. You can get your wallpaper, you can get your rugs. I love, yep, and then you have the costumes out here. Oh, the Queen of Hearts is such a good character as well. Brewster's Cafe, how sweet. I was about to say we haven't seen the museum, but we did. And it was the Haunted Mansion. So well done. I knew we would see gift shops and it totally makes sense that Nook's Cranny is a part of it. Oh, so this is the tram. So there's a little train. Whoa, whoa. Um, this is so well done. Let me see if I can get like a good, I don't think I am gonna be able to get the perfect angle of it, but holy cow. This looks amazing. So you have the standees, you have the stalls, then you have some simple panels, and then, is that a bookshelf, I believe? Wow, this is easily, easily the best train I've ever seen as far as a build goes, holy cow. Wow. And even just the detail of having the rope fencing kind of segment the different cars is absolutely outstanding. Wow, bravo. This is just so good. So that's the only thing on this level, wow. I've been shocked by a lot of this island, but this train, for whatever reason, is giving me life. Okay, let's go this way. <gasps> is this cars? Yes, it is. Oh, fun. This is my favorite um, area of California Adventure. So it's not in Disneyland, it's in California Adventure. And I think, I'm pretty sure that's what this is referencing. Or I guess this could be, this could be like the, the bumper car sort of situation as well. But either way, I absolutely love Cars Land at Disneyland, or at, sorry, California Adventure. It's my favorite. Can I get through here? No, I cannot. Of course, you can't hop the fence at Disneyland. Katie, what are you thinking? Look at Molly. <laughs> I hope she goes and lays down on one. Man, what a fun island. And it's perfect. I feel like I've been to Disneyland a, a decent amount of times to like, catch references and inaccuracies, but this is amazing. Like this is the animation studio, right? They have a very nicely air conditioned area. If you ever go in the summer and you just are trying to beat the heat, there is an animation studio, which is so cool. It's also where you can meet Elsa and Anna. <laughs> if you ever want to meet them, they're in there as well. Wow. And it's where you can see kind of the history bef like behind all the animated films. Hi, Eric. So, so good. And here is the carousel. Wow, this is so well decorated. Look at all of those floating blocks to actually make it look like a carousel. Holy cow, how creative. What? That is something I would have never have guessed to do, but it actually makes it look like a full carousel. Wow, and what a beautiful use of the ice pillars and sculptures. Veronica, you have outdone yourself. This is just so good. And then back here, Oh, <laughs> let's just say, if you know, you know. 
Don't make me sing it. Don't make me sing it. This is the small world ride. <laughs> oh, it's so good. It's so perfect. And truly, even like the little, the hula hooping. <laughs> As if there are the little characters moving is just, that is a detail that is just treasured. I need to do this. I need to do a funny expression like I'm fearful. Yeah. <laughs> so much fun. The accuracy is just outstanding. People are so, so, so creative. I am absolutely blown away. We have seen everything that there is to see. I can't get a smile off of my face. I truly feel like I just took a trip to Disneyland. The serotonin boost is quite real, y'all. Please go visit this island. Please go give Veronica some love. I can't wait to see what she creates next because this has absolutely blown me away. I mean, every single detail is just outstanding. I'm gonna end this video at, I think, I think what's my favorite part, but you know, it's it's amazing through and through. If you watch this video, I hope you are having an amazing morning, evening, afternoon, wherever you are in this big old beautiful world of ours. I hope it's a good one and I will see y'all in the next one. Bye-bye.